Get out the way, who got a watch, who got the time, I'm raising the clock Even in my feelings, grind don't stop, got big dreams, want big rocks I got plans, who got talk, that is real cheap, but it's really gold cost I'm trying to get these ends, building bios with my friends I'm about handling my business, no time for stress over bullshit You think success is an option, I'm trying to get this shit popping like woo. Big moves, my rules Y'all heavy on the tweeting I'll disappear a whole season like woo Who said they looking for me? I'm a Hey D Marie TV family Everything I say is alleged It's in my opinion And it is for entertainment purposes only So everyone knows it's my position That I um, do not intend on giving little buddy And his gutter snipe any attention Unless they come from mail And there's a content creator Who releases recordings Saying it's from the gutter snipe and I don't believe that to be the case. I believe Lil Buddy, the gutter snipe, and the content creator are all working together. I believe some of the information that is released is newly recorded information, and I believe they're working to run a smear campaign against Mel. Anytime Mel has something amazing happening, when things are going good for her, they come out with these recordings and they drop them under the narrative that the content creator is feuding, is feuding with Lil Buddy's gutter snipe. But the gutter snipe says some things in this recording that I think are inappropriate. And I am not for striking people's channel unnecessarily. But in this instance, I believe there are several strikes that need to be made against this channel because what is happening is inappropriate. Things that are being discussed may or may not be true and they're being put out as fact. It is harassing, it's embarrassing, it's demeaning, it's bullying. And I think that her channel should be struck by both Melody Sheree Rogers and her mother, Miss Van. I think both of them have legitimate cause to strike this content creator's channel. There's, it's a new level of low when you will try to utilize the abuse of a child for profit on the content creator's part. And when it comes to Little Buddy and his gutter snipe, it's an effort to harm a woman who divorced him three years ago. This man is so pathetic. He cannot move on. And this gutter snipe does nothing but lay on her back and fixate on this woman. It is some single white female shit. It's crazy. She is psychotic. There is no way that she should not have a restraining order placed against her. Those kids should not be anywhere in her presence or his. And this is something that we have been talking about for years at this point. Melody Sheree Rogers is not thinking about her ex or his gutter snipe. Hell, she gave him to her. Have at it. And she still is being treated as a side chick and nothing burger because that's what she is. The man got on Tasha K and will not even acknowledge you as his woman. You are a good friend after you've laid on your back and swallowed him for 10 years. And y'all getting to know each other. That's the best you get. Nobody cares about what Martell, nobody cares about little buddy's version of his relationship. And let's be clear, that's the only thing the content creator can drop because that's the only information she has access to. Anything coming from the gutter snipe's mouth is her regurgitating what little buddy told her. So to put this information out as if it's true and fact, it's not okay. This content creator is grimy. She's grimy as hell. And to put this information out and discuss a trauma inflicted on a child without that person's permission or without fact checking any of that information. And even if it is true or false, what you've done is inappropriate. But there is no limit to what people will do. It's just no limit to it. These people are so angry that this woman left this man and took along with her, her business acumen and sense, her ability to make money, their ability to live well, and now they're angry. This gutter snipe sits and ponders how she can become this woman every day, how she could have her old life every day. You wanted her position, now you got it. Make do with that. You wanted the man, you got him, make do with it. But just like he lied to you and told you 
He was the best parent. He was the one doing all the work. He was the one starting all the businesses and making all the connections and doing all the everything. And you believe that lie, he's still lying to you. You can clearly see he wasn't doing any of that. If he could have done it then, why can't he do it now? If he made her, why he can't make you? This man is a liar. Period. If someone was to sit up and make up hypotheticals as to why he behaves the way he behaves, why he has feminine characteristics, why he's so fascinated with gay men. If someone was to imply things happened to him as a child, he would be furious and through the roof. It would be the worst thing ever, but it's okay for you all to do it to Melody Sheree Rogers. And the reason her millimeters exist is this right here. Everybody sees this, everybody hears it, everybody's aware of what he's doing and no one says a word. So we all band together and decided we were going to be her voice. That is what is the basis of the millimeters. That's what brought us out and brought us together. And that's what keeps bringing more and more, more people out. So the more you do this, the more people you bring on to her side. No one's going in for y'all. No one's checking for y'all. Y'all are the most hated couple on the face of this earth. The mere sighting of little buddy sends people through the roof. People can't stand him. He doesn't have friends. He thought he did, but he doesn't. And the people he thought were his friends are gone. It's very clear now to him, they weren't really his friends ever at all. They don't help him. The more he loses, nobody wants to be around him. They're disconnecting, walking away. Nobody definitely wants to see the gutter sniper be in a room with that piece of trash. Discussing Melody's mother's choices as a woman, it is nobody's business. What you choose to do with your pregnancies, with your vagina, with your children is nobody's business. Yet this man gets to sit and tell his gutter snipe all these crazy stories and she gets to regurgitate them or make them up to her minion and the minion puts them out on YouTube. And they think it's such a well orchestrated plan that nobody's on to what they're doing. Everybody's on to it. Everybody can see that. Y'all ain't fooling nobody. But both of these women have children. Both of them do. And the pain and the anguish that will come when you realize someone has violated your child, that's not something anybody should ever play with or laugh at. The content creator is disgusting. She's the sticky shit at the bottom of a fucking barrel for even remotely putting that information out into the world. That's horrible. And for that, Melody should sue her. And for that, Melody should strike her channel. And the, the strike needs to come from a lawyer. YouTube should receive a letter from an attorney, a legal complaint from an attorney about what this woman has done. And the same for Mrs. Van. There is no way Miss Van sit down and discuss with Mark, with little buddy, what she chose to do in her life. And it's no way she authorized him to release any of that information. That is harassing, that is bullying, and she too should have an attorney issue a letter to strike this woman's channel for that piece of her content. The video should also go to the courts because this is again an example of little buddy harassing, embarrassing, and discussing sexual matters regarding his wife in public is no different than the revenge pee. He's just finding different ways to do it. He is a sick fuck. One of the most evil people I've ever witnessed. That is who this man is. But I will continue to leave them nameless. I will continue not to give them no credit or shine. And I will continue to speak as little about them as I possibly can. But again, it's times like this when they're being ignored that they push harder. But the harder they push, the bigger mistakes they make. And we have to seize the opportunities to get them when they make these mistakes. This content creator should have two legitimate strikes against her channel for this recording that she released. These are, this is what the true intention of strikes should be. The, the, the filing should come from an attorney. It should have legal language in the letter. There should be an immediate cease and desist issued to this content creator to keep this woman's name out her mouth. 
at this point, the level of recordings and the amount that she's released, there is no question that this is harassing. There's no question. There's no question that these recordings are intended to be bullying. And there's no question in my mind that she's working with the gutter snipe and little buddy to do that. Because at some point, like so many others, she wanted something from this woman. She did not give it to her. And she has a vendetta against Melody Cherie Rogers, just like the rest of them. So my only point is this. This woman, I shouldn't call her a woman because she's not a woman, this gutter snipe, will continue to have pipe dreams about being on a show. She'll continue to believe that her child is this wanted character on the show. Nobody is checking for that thing. Nobody's checking for that. Well, nobody wants to see that. The world is full of misbehaving children. We don't, that's not something that people want to see on television. No, nobody checking for him. Did nobody want him on vacation? Nobody want to film him. Nobody wants to see it. He's just like you. He's a product of both of you. Nobody wants to see either of you either. We would really appreciate it if you guys would just fade to black. That would help us all out. Don Michelle, please get on this. Please get on this. Please have the cease and desist letters sent to this woman and foul strikes against her channel. That will give her two. And in frustration, she will F up. In frustration, she'll 100% screw up. And we will get the third strike. And for once and for all, she can go away. And so can this gutter snipe and little buddy's messages that they are trying to put through and put out through her. I'm tired of it. Like, the world needs to move on. This marriage has been over for three years. It's done. They can't get over it because they're still pining over what they lost, the lifestyle they used to have. But guess what? You want a good life, you're gonna have to earn it on your own. There are no handouts in the world. You're gonna have to grind and go get it on your own. And if you don't, you ain't gonna get it. There has to be a price to pay for the harassment that these people keep inflicting on this woman. She is not doing or saying a word to these people. There has to be a price to pay for this. And it starts, in my opinion, with the cease and desist, a strike, and some lawsuits. People wanna sue folks, then let the lawsuits fly. If I was male, I would've been and buried Martel in lawsuits because he can't afford to defend himself. He can't afford the attorneys. So guess what, he loses. Everyone, sue them. So when they do come into some money, it comes to you. They gotta pay you. When they do finally get some houses, put liens on them so you can get your money that they owe you. And it don't have to be high powered attorneys doing this. Go down to a law firm and get some of the new attorneys or get go to a, an attorney who just graduated. Give them something to do. It's about to be some graduating students from law school. Reach out to a law school and find out who's graduating in, in, in law and whatever lawyer you want to get that attorney for cheap, contract them to sit there and shellac your lawsuits out. They ain't gonna charge you a lot of money, they're just gonna be happy to have some work. Let the high-powered attorneys handle the situation with the children. But for this type of stuff, get you a low-level, fresh out of law school attorney who's willing to take a lot less money to do the same job and go for it. Shut these people down. It's time to fight fire with a fucking blowtorch. Burn all they shit down because you gave them ample opportunity to leave it alone. And since they won't, just flame it up, destroy it, all of it. Him, her, the content creator, all of them, shut it down. And keep coming and keep coming and keep coming until he gets tired and says, I'm done. Y'all, share this video, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let me know your thoughts. What do y'all think about this constant brigade of just, they constantly coming at this woman nonstop. Every time she has an event, every time she drops a line with Jay Bolin, she looks amazing in those photos. Ariane Curry wished she could do that. She wished she could do that. She wished she was on show and on TV. She sits there and she sees every single time she watches this woman glow up because everything Melody is doing is what she wanted for her life and she didn't get it. The events that she's hosting, the Hill Harper event, all of these things that she's doing, 
the mimosas with Melody. She's so angry, so jealous, speaking at Alabama A&M. She's so jealous. Both of them wish they had that type of clout. Both of them wish they could do those things and they can't. So all they do is sit around and seethe and they're angry. She wishes she had a kid that the world admired. Like we love them Eminem kids. They wish he was a part of that. He's not, <laughs> he's not. Nobody's checking for him. So you all keep sitting around doing what you do, but I'm telling you, Don Michelle, get on it. Don't let this ride. It's enough is enough, enough is enough. Be it true or false, that is not information that she was ever supposed to ever put out there. That is so disrespectful, harmful, triggering. It's like reoffending a victim all over again. That's not okay. And if it's nothing that never happened to her, why would you put that out there and trigger and harm other people who it really has happened to? This is a real sickness in the world. People have been affected by this kind of trauma for years. And you think it's okay to say someone was molested? You think it's okay to discuss whether or not a woman gave her child up for adoption? These are private personal matters that neither one of these people should ever be discussing. And Martel Holt is a different kind of demon that he will sit up and take this information and try to use it to harm a woman who divorced him three years ago. You should be so over this divorce, but you can't get over it. You can't get over it. And the reason you can't get over it is you cannot hold yourself accountable for your misdoings. You did this to yourself. You destroyed your own life. You did it. Nobody else is to blame but you. You did this to yourself. So deal with it. But Mel and the kids, they're doing just fine. I wish nothing but the worst for the two of them. And I'm, I will be glad when a day comes where we don't even have to discuss this nonsense anymore. Where this gutter snipe and this demon just go away. If I feel that way, I can't imagine how Mel feels. But here we are again. So, y'all, it never ends. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will talk to you guys soon. Have a good one. Get out the way. Who got a watch? Who got the time? I'm raising the clock. Even if my feelings grind, don't stop. Got big dreams.